Today we're going to be looking at an abbreviation that seems to cause some disagreement, as I keep noticing on my technical training courses. The three letters in question are OAP. OAP stands for Overrunning Alternator Pulley. This pulley dampens vibrations produced by the large rotating mass inside the alternator. It intentionally allows slip to protect the multi-V belt from wear. An OAP pulley springs into action when we switch off the engine, for example. The belt drive instantly comes to a stop, but the rotating mass inside the alternator is still moving with considerable force. A similar thing happens when the vehicle is moving and additional consumers are switched on, such as the air conditioning system. The air conditioning compressor starts up, creating an additional load for the belt. As a result, the belt runs more slowly, while the crankshaft continues to turn at full power, pulling on the belt. Our OAP neutralizes these irregular forces in order to reduce strain on the belt. And what does this mean for you in the workshop? You've just seen how important an overrunning alternator pulley is, so you should include it as a part of the inspection routine during vehicle maintenance. My advice would be to check it every 80,000 kilometers and replace it after 120,000 at the latest. And here you can see what happens if it's not replaced in time. This sort of damage could have been caused by a faulty OAP. To check an overrunning alternator pulley, remove the multi-V belt, turn the OAP in the normal direction of rotation and then lock it suddenly. The pulley should slip freely. You can tell the OAP is slipping properly by turning it back and forth or turning it, then locking it and checking if it's slipping. This means the OAP is working correctly. You won't be able to perform this test on some engines because they have an OAD fitted rather than an OAP. OAD stands for Overrunning Alternator Decoupler and it's the OAP's big brother. As well as reducing vibration by means of intentional slip, an OAD completely decouples the multi-V belt from the alternator in a way. This is made possible by a torsion spring here. This spring absorbs the crankshaft's rotational irregularities, resulting in quieter, smoother operation of the drive mechanism. Now, back to the workshop. If you have an engine with an OAD instead of an OAP, you'll need a special tool that you'll find in our OAP toolbox. You use this to turn the alternator shaft in a counterclockwise direction while holding the decoupler's outer ring in place. You should feel the spring yielding. If the spring doesn't yield or the decoupler doesn't slip, it means it's faulty and must be replaced. Don't forget these cover caps, by the way. If you need new OAPs or OADs, we have a very wide range in stock. Continental offers 130 variants to suit different vehicle models. Check out the detailed model allocations in the PIC, where you'll also find the Toolbox 1 I mentioned. So is that all clear now? See you next time in the workshop.